The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Power Trading Hour, with your host, David White. Now, the author of The Path of Least Resistance and the Tech Insider, David White. And welcome all to another beautiful September 26th at the headquarters of technical trading and investing. It is TFNN.com. And uh, yeah, good day. The sun's out. It only rained a little bit this morning. Uh, there are ducks out in my front yard because they think it's a pond. But uh, maybe they say maybe we get finally a reprieve from the everyday rain. And I can only hope so. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, what do we have going on out here today? Well, the market was down, then it was up, then it was down. Now it's flat. And it's off, what, up two points, something like that. Uh, 1695, it got to uh, a high of a 1703 today uh, on the thought that uh, uh, there would be some deal made on the uh, uh, coming uh, fiscal matters in Congress. And, and they got into the meat of the thing and weren't too excited. I suspect we're not going to see anything uh, until at least a Monday. And at that point, we're going to start seeing uh, a lot more. Anyway, uh, what else do we have going on in this market? Well, not even in the market, just in general. Uh, in this a day in 1960, for the first time in the U.S. history, a debate between the major party presidential candidates is shown on television. And, of course, uh, anybody that uh, had any history remembers uh, or was taught uh, that Richard Nixon looked rather uh, weathered because he didn't uh, wear uh, makeup, uh, looked shiny and sweaty, and uh, he probably could have used a shave. Uh, so he kind of looked like... Uh, Chester the Molester on TV, and uh, uh, a lot of people think that just the uh, uh, his appearance cost him the election in 1960. Uh, eh, interestingly enough, the Vice President of the United States uh, met in the Chicago studio to discuss U.S. domestic matters. So, eh, eh, I think it worked out okay. I don't think he'd want to have traded places with John F. Kennedy. He always he got his uh, turn eight years later. But uh, eh. when television actually decided a presidential can candidate uh, for the first time uh, today in 1960. Bed, Bath & Beyond, uh, what is this, uh, BBBY. Uh, this morning they were up uh, 4 bucks. What are they up now? Uh, $3.46 at 77.68. Uh, after beating on earnings, the retailer issued mixed guidance expecting third quarter's earnings in line with analyst expectations, why fourth quarter earnings are expected to come in below current estimates. So eh, a little bit uh, a little bit better and a little bit worse. Uh, the market uh, kind of took it as them sandbagging once again after missing a few quarters ago. And, uh, you know, let's take a quick look at them here, uh, if I can. BBBY. And let's uh, LB. let's take a look at their chart. Uh, you know they're up here at these highs. Uh, got plenty of volume. Should be able to hold this high today. And uh, they're going up against the August sixth high, seventy eight dollars twenty five cents. Uh, got a good fifty cents over that today. Certainly had uh, the volume already getting close to one point. Seven per, uh, 170 percent of the volume. Uh, the question is whether or not, just like everything else I've been looking at, that uh, as soon as something uh, turtles, it uh, does a little, uh, uh, what's that little thing out there, that little muskrat in the field? Uh, prairie dog. And yeah, it's doing a little prairie dog, sticking his little head out. Uh, they get it shot off, and Bed Bath Beyond is not any different. But uh, nice gap up up here. And uh, on its way to trying to come back and at least close some of it, uh, this thing has been a little gappy little guy as of late. Uh, no, certainly not holding uh, that today. 
Yeah, it looks to me like this thing wants to come back and fill this gap fairly quickly uh, if it does close below 78.25 and can't hold that high. And uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, Herb Greenberg had a great piece out this morning, and I'm just going to read it to you uh, here. Amazon didn't consistently make money? No worries. It's a great place to shop. Netflix, it doesn't consistently make money? No worries. It's disrupting broadcasting. Tesla makes money, but then again, well, it won't next year. As for Herbalife, well, there's no need to rehash that old story. All you need to know is that a bunch of well-respected hedge fund managers are betting against Bill Ackman, who dared to publicly lay out his case for shorting Herbalife. So he must be wrong. Uh, markets can seem to be nuts for a while. Uh, I lived through probably the worst example of irrational exuberance ever in the dot-com bubble. Uh, you may have too. You may have not been trading at that time. Uh, but I'll guarantee you stocks with absolutely zero chance of ever making a dime uh, were going to uh, the moon one day and to hell and a handbasket the next. And uh, every time I start seeing a lot of stocks uh, that have dubious uh, earnings potential or can't make money over a number of years, theoretically because, of course, they're putting all the money back into the company. So, therefore, you shouldn't worry about whether the company makes money. Um, it's, a, you know, yeah, Amazon, great place to shop. Uh, you know, would I be buying for 140 bucks their Kindle Fire HD? It's a great deal. It's not a great deal for Amazon unless I buy lots of, of uh, stuff back from them. And, uh, of course, I'm not. Um, I, I'll buy things, but it's not going to be because of that. I'm one of those horrible people that bought the product, instantly took off their bloatware uh, that automatically redirects, them, uh, redirects you every time you want to buy something to Amazon. And, uh, you know, I have basically a stock uh, Android tablet uh, that I can do just about anything with. Uh, and uh, so there's going to be people buying those, but at 140 bucks, uh, the cost to make it is still 180. They've got to make 40 bucks from you back just to break even now. Um, so I, you know, I understand a lot of people saying, "Hey, get the uh, uh, razor uh, blade holder out there, get the uh, uh, razor out there, and sell the razor blades." Uh, but that's betting a lot on people buying things from. Uh, Amazon, and if I have to pay taxes on it, uh, I'll probably go to Newegg or some of the other uh, companies out there that uh, don't charge taxes. So anyway, uh, what else do we need to know? Um, just an interesting call out here, I think, mostly because he's an analyst uh, and uh, doesn't actually trade. Uh, he just uh, It's easier for him to say, hey, uh, there's a problem here. I know that the markets can go up, that markets can remain irrational longer than you can remain solvent. Uh, but uh, every once in a while, uh, you should listen to the other side. Uh, we've got three stocks here that are ridiculously valued. Uh, when we look at Texa, Tesla especially, uh, if they could make 300,000 cars, they'd be worth what they are today. Uh, but uh, there's no way for them to make 300,000 cars because there's not that much lithium in the world that could be mined to make all the batteries. And two, uh, once they start doing that, aren't the cars going to be about 200 grand? Uh, aren't uh, isn't the price of lithium going to go through the roof? It's the supply and demand, isn't it? Uh, just a thought. Anyway, you can give me a call, 877-927-6648. That's 877-927-6648. And uh, what else do we have? Uh, I have one more thing I thought here. Uh, the Godfather is uh, going to lunch with the CEO of Apple on Monday, uh, and he's going to discuss a share back, a buyback program. And I think he's going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Remember Mr. Dell? Ooh, I made things bad for Mr. Dell. Uh, Mr. Dell should have listened to me. Uh, piddly $20 million offer uh, to get rid of me. Uh, it just wasn't enough. I've got a lot of money in your company, Tim. Either your brains or your signature is going to be on this contract to start buying back a huge amount of stock and giving me that money because I bought your stock, and then I'm going to distribute that stock back 
to the saps that buy it after me. But uh, it's going to be interesting. I'm wait, waiting to see how CNBC couches this on Monday. I'm sure that we're probably going to see some kind of bounce in Apple on Monday. And it's all going to be about uh, what kind of uh, fund buyback is going to spike the price temporarily the most in Apple uh, so that he can uh, basically keep Apple going up. And uh, we'll be interesting to see in the next uh, S10 uh, filings just how much uh, Carl Icahn sold of Apple on the way up, if any. Uh, but it'll be very, yeah. Oh, oh they're saying that uh, Nixon had jowls. Yeah, I kind of vaguely remember that. I saw a little bit of it, but uh, it'll be tough. Nixon and his jowls. Uh, anyway, uh, should we short a GMRC? You can give me a call at 877-927-6648. Uh, and actually, GMRC. Uh, if I could ever do it correctly. Uh, GMCR, actually. Dyslexia cure for found is what I always say. Well, uh, when you actually put it on, it's... Uh, it's uh, pretty much uh, broken that uh, nine-day move. It's going to go back and fill this gap back here uh, from about 67 down to 59. Uh, and uh, that gap happened on a lot of volume. So you're probably going to find support there at uh, 26 million shares. And that uh, goes all the way back down to the, uh, yeah, about 59.60, something like that. And, uh hmm. It is going to be interesting. But, yeah, you got to go through uh, the July 11th at 8.4. So I think you probably, I'm going to say you probably have a 70% chance of hitting 67 with this uh, for your parameters. And you have about a uh, probably 90% chance that it gets back down into the low 60s. Because uh, this thing probably really wants to come back down there. Really haven't had a lot of energy yet. We could get one more bounce back up here. I'd wait for this thing to probably come back up to the nine-day moving average. And if it was on light volume is probably where I'd take the, the uh, turn. This thing's already given the signal, so there's not going to be anything new. But I think you could probably get a bounce out of this thing. I bet one of the things uh, that this thing is, uh, let's see if I can find it here. Uh, how much time I got? Don't have enough time. I'm going to look for the uh, short interest in this thing because it's perpetually highly short. One of the reasons I don't spend a lot of time looking at it. Uh, that's a GMCR, which is Green Mountain Coffee Roasters. This thing is eventually probably coming back to 20 bucks, but the question is just how long this thing goes sideways before then uh, or up. Anyway, uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes. You can give me a call, and it's a good day to do that at 877 Nine two seven six six four eight. Andy Hecht, the host of the Commodities Hour, recently launched his newsletter service, the Technomental Commodity Report, and only six weeks in, Andy has already recorded a triple-digit winner. Andy advised his subscribers to purchase a long-term call option at 46 cents on July 11th, and then sent out a special update Friday, August 16th, advising his subscribers to close that position at $1.40. That's a 204% profit in just five weeks. The Technomental Commodity Report Report by Andy Hecht is released each Thursday morning, and right now you can get a month-long free trial to this subscription while locking in the low introductory rate of only $39 a month. Andy Hecht has been a commodities trader for over three decades. Let his experience work for you. Sign up for your month-long free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report today at TFNN.com. With the launch of Tiger TV. 
TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk, charges, and expenses of direction funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the direction funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different futures contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. This red light, green light market profile system dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. Right now you can receive a two-week free trial to Taz Signal Box. For all the details and to find out how the Signal Box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. McEwen Mining is a high-growth, mid-tier producer in the Americas with a market capitalization of $1 billion. Experienced mining executive Rob McEwen, as chairman, CEO, and president, owns 25% of the outstanding shares of McEwen Mining and has put in place an ambitious business plan with the goal of qualifying for inclusion in the S&P 500 by 2015. With $70 million in cash and liquid assets as of the end of 2012 and completely debt-free, McEwen Mining is poised for growth. Production in 2013 is forecasted to grow at 24%, reaching 130,000 gold equivalent ounces. And over the next three years, McEwen Mining projects that their production will increase to 290,000 gold equivalent ounces, almost a three-fold increase from last year's totals. If you'd like to find out more about McEwen Mining, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE or TSX under the symbol MUX. Dave, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. And as we come back, we were talking about Green Mountain when we uh, uh, left. I was going to look up the short interest. Somebody in the den already uh, did. And, of course, it's 39% uh, short interest. So uh, one of the reasons I haven't bothered with it, uh, these perennially super high short interest stocks, I just take them off my radar because, of course, uh, it is like the apple in the uh, Garden of Eden. Uh, it is very, very tempting. And, of course, Mr. Market will come and slap your hands uh, when they come and get you. So, I, yeah, could this thing you know, could it easily bounce back up? Uh, but 39% uh, short interest, you probably would want to wait until this thing had a super uh, high short squeeze on almost no volume just to make sure that uh, it had been pretty much tapped out uh, would be the only way. And, of course, uh, it's going to be tough. Uh, it's given every signal on a chart. It looks good. Short interest is just going to kill you. Uh, anyway, uh, what else do we have? Uh, uh, what else do we have? Oh, uh, we're going to, uh, I was, was actually going to go through uh, uh, many stocks out here, but I wanted to get through just how some of the other things are moving out here today. Uh, gold off uh, 12 bucks, no big deal. Uh, 13 at 24. Uh, kind of broke through the first level of support. I think we're going to at least see a test of a 1299 again. Uh, and I love to see 1275 and 1200. Uh, and uh, we could probably get that. I don't think it's beyond the scope of reason. That's what it's going to take me to buy this. 
Uh, I have a feeling that a lot of people have been chewed up uh, buying stocks and not selling them off the bottom the first time. Uh, and uh, we'll be uh, looking at that uh, silver uh, off of 14 cents. Um, I don't have the chart up right now, but uh, natural gas, uh, when the uh, numbers came out, was off about four or five cents. Uh, maybe our uh, stalker in chief, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Andy Heck, following me today, will talk about how those numbers came in. Uh, one of the discussions in uh, uh, natural gas has been that one of the things that the president will cave on is that pipeline. Um, and uh, I hope he does for the good of the, the United States. Again, uh, there's 12, 000, or 12 million miles of pipelines of different things underneath uh, the earth of this uh, uh, United States. And uh, when's the last time you heard of uh, uh, impending doom caused by the pipeline? Uh, if it leaks, they come in there and they clean it up. Uh, I only know of one thing that's a problem, and for some reason everybody po po uh, pokes it out. I think it's up in uh, North Dakota. They said, well, this stream is horribly messed up. Well, the EPA won't let them come in there and clean it up. So uh, yeah, I, dis I disregard uh, that uh, statement. Uh, pipelines are probably one of the easiest, safest and a most efficient way of moving. Maybe uh, Andy will talk about the differences and how much uh, oil takes to, uh, crude oil takes to move on those uh, railroad tracks compared to a pipeline uh, over time. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, uh, transportation costs are something like three or four times more uh, by rail uh, than they are by pipeline. And of course, uh, the most efficient mode of travel when uh, possible is barge. But uh, you can't always count on it. Sometimes the rivers uh, are, don't have enough water so much that they have too much water. Uh, but uh, eh, maybe we'll get into the logistics of moving energy around today. Maybe we'll, if he didn't have anything else to talk about. Uh, anyway, uh, I wanted to get into uh, some stocks today. and We're going to go through just as many as we can. Uh, this was a list of uh, stocks uh, from Morgan Stanley or Goldman Sachs that no matter what happens to the economy, uh, these stocks have to go up. And they gave us uh, 40 stocks, so I'm going to try to run through them as quick as possible. Uh, probably, yeah, we'll probably have to start after the break. Uh, but we've got some of these stocks that uh, eh, some of them look good, some of them don't look good. Uh, I'm always interested to hear these stocks that have to do well no matter what the economy is doing. Oh, I did something here wrong. Oh, I know. I touched that. I shouldn't have touched that. Uh, don't who owns Moody's? I don't know who owns Moody's. Eh. We'll have to figure out. Um, yeah. Let's see if a few other things. Well, let's take a quick look at the uh, market here uh, just before we go. And uh, then we'll come back and we'll go to those. I just wanted a quick look at the volume today, uh, which is light. And, of course, we're up, uh, what, uh, almost three points on the S&P cash, just turning 2 billion shares as we speak. Uh, so it's going to be a light volume day. I suspect we're going to have a light volume tomorrow and light volume coming into Monday. Uh, the vote is probably going to be somewhere around noon or 1 on Saturday. And I think that when we come back Monday, we're going to know a lot more about the political ramifications. Uh, but uh, not a lot of volume either up or down here today. We'll be back in a minute. With the stock market flirting with all-time highs and volatility back, now is the perfect time for a two-week free trial to Market Insights. On Monday, June 24th, Tom O'Brien closed out all five open positions in his daily newsletter, Market Insights, with all trades being profitable and ranging from a 2.23% gain all the way to more than an 11% gain in just one position for an incredible 32.7% profit combined between the five trades. Let Tom O'Brien's years of market experience work for you. If you'd like to see for yourself what kind of trading newsletter Tom O'Brien delivers to his clients each morning, then now is a perfect time to sign up for a two-week free trial to his daily newsletter, Market Insights. In a volatile market like we currently have, the potential for fast market moves like we've seen recently is a trader's dream. So don't wait any longer. Sign up for your two-week free trial to Market Insights today at the front page of TFNN.com. 
No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.mobile in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're back. We're going to go through uh, the stocks uh, that uh, Goldman Sachs said uh, have, no matter what, are going to be uh, going up. They just have to. It doesn't matter what the economy does. Alexion, uh, Alexion Pharmaceuticals AX, excuse me, ALXN. Uh, what else do we have? Eh, looking at this thing, uh, looks like it's getting close to coming back. Uh, tried to get into the 125 high of July 12th uh, on July 30th with half the volume. Uh, kind of into that candle, not a whole lot coming back up again. Uh, light volume, I don't buy that, at least on the chart short term. Uh, we're looking at it, Amazon today. Uh, Amazon, uh, interestingly enough, has attested the previous high on lighter volume, pushing it today even with a lighter volume. And again, uh, I'm not going to be shorting any of these stocks. Um, you know, we've got fund buying, which is starting in, what, uh, and it starts Monday. And basically, fund buying is going to be over by Wednesday or Thursday, probably Thursday for the most part. Uh, the last three days of the month, first two days of the month. So well, sometimes you see a lot of people. I think they play kind of fast and loose with that a little bit. But, uh, eh, what can we say? Light volume up here. This could continue up. I know it's got some fairly uh, decent uh, short interest. Certainly doesn't have any use. Uh, Athena Health. Uh, this thing's been uh, gapped up on, 
huge volume, been kind of bouncing uh, against uh, these lows uh, that have uh, set by the uh, bottom of that gap. Um, and, and what can you say? This thing's got to chew through 3.2 million shares when it gapped up on that uh, day, which is the uh, what uh, 12th of uh, June. On uh, yeah, 3.2 million shares. Uh, that's a good sign of strength. Uh, of course, it's trying to consolidate that out, um, but uh, energy creeping in a little bit more back out here. And of course, uh, with uh, healthcare uh, up for debate, uh, will be interesting. Uh, let's see what we can go through else. Atlas Energy, uh, another one banging around at these highs. Uh, this thing had a nice high volume high uh, on August 1st at uh, 5570. And uh, 880,000 shares is uh, coming back uh, to uh, 4550. It's, so it's into that candle. Certainly not a lot of volume. Uh, we're going to uh, Victor in Paramus, New Jersey. How you doing, Victor? Yeah, Intel just announced their dividend. They didn't raise it, and it's taken a beating today. Where would you start to look at buying a letter to trace the gap? From, uh, I still think this thing's coming back to twenty-one fifty. Okay. I think I, I just eventually it's going to do that. I'm not. Uh, I'm not talking about a, a one-week trade or anything. I'm looking at it long term, and I think we've got 2150 when the market pulls back uh, on the next major pullback. This thing's going to hit that. It's going to freak a bunch of people out. They're going to they're going to puke up their shares at the lows, and this, and this thing's going to be a monopoly uh, in the uh, uh, near future. But uh, waiting for a very a strong, uh, uh, let me put it this way, a very good test. Of, of the lows down there around that 2150 uh, mark, I think, is exactly where you want to buy it if you want to hold it long term. What happens if it blows through there with volume? Then where do you go? Excuse me? What happens if it goes through there with a lot of volume? Where do you go from there? Let's say you're. Back to, back to 20 bucks. 20? Yeah. Because yeah, so, I think the book value is $18 a share, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, hard stocks hardly ever try. Uh, uh, trade at book value in the semiconductor industry. But uh, I, th I think, uh, go what? The stock hasn't really done nothing in the past few years. No, I think it's getting ready to. It's like this, like, uh, this, is, this is exactly what I like. I love all this chop. I, I yeah. love all this uh, people getting all excited and then their hopes getting dashed and it pulling back and uh, just being in a nice uh, uh, trading range here because I think the next time this thing like takes off, can. Um, I think they're going well on the way uh, to being a monopoly. Look at Nike and their earnings come out today, and they're always fudging their numbers. In KE, yeah. What do you think? What, what can you do? Just split too. I think it's that it's. I don't think it has much more room to go, and now it's a Dow component. Well, uh, you had one day of volume up here above this high, and that's it. Well, that, and that was a doji. So you had. Yeah, 18 million shares. So, eh, not much out there. I want to thank you for the call, Victor. Uh, and uh, what else do we have out here? Oh, we're going to go back to some of these stocks. Uh, BWA, Borg Warner, uh, another one out here uh, breaking high. Of course, these are all on the list of the can't-lose stocks that everybody told uh, us this morning about. Uh, was it uh, Goldman Sachs? We've got 40 stocks that can't lose. I wanted to go through these stocks and see what the charts actually said, uh, not uh, if they're trying to distribute these. But uh, Borg Warner, uh, nice company, hundred dollars uh, fifty four cents on August thirteenth, one point one million shares. Uh, we haven't got well, we've got uh, about a little under eight hundred thousand shares as it's gone back up and tickled these highs. Uh, and uh, not much out here today, light volume out here again today. So uh, a lot of these certainly do look like they're at least at a minimum in a trading range uh, from where we're at and maybe a little bit back down. Boy, to gaming, uh, boy, have there been a lot of stocks in this sector that are topping out on light volume. BYD, uh, this thing, May of 14th. Uh, had uh, fourteen dollars fifty cents, five point nine million shares. Got into it with two point seven million shares on the twenty third. Uh, I saw uh, probably four or five in the sector uh, that have been doing the same thing. I noticed Caesars has uh, uh, probably one of the biggest uh, IPO scams of all time. Uh, normally, when I talk about sliver IPOs going public, 
that is the 10 percent of the stock is actually uh, tradable um, and of course a lot more of that share of those shares will find its way in the market in the future uh, Caesars is uh, was probably the worst of all of them I think 98 percent of the shares were untradable uh, at the uh, re at the original IPO and uh, they're already coming back for more money uh, to expand their business supposedly uh, but uh, they've been able to run the uh, shares of that up. Uh, now they're going to dump even more shares on the market. Uh, seems almost criminal. But, of course, uh, they're used to taking people's money, so probably not a big deal. Although I like the place. I've been in it a lot. Uh, I don't think I'd be owning the shares of it. And certainly uh, the entire sector out there, especially uh, the Las Vegas sector, looks really bad. Uh, at least for the share prices. So I'm wondering whether or not uh, that uh, maybe online gam gambling is coming on and it's going to hurt them or uh, what's happening. But uh, certainly looks weird. Cerner Corporation out here banging at these eyes uh, over and over again. This one actually has some decent volume uh, but pulled right back in just like just about everything else we've seen. Uh, these things get up to the top and then can't uh, handle it, uh, banging away with a volume that should be enough to uh, hold these highs, uh, but uh, back down to around the $49 level. CMG, um, of course, this is a uh, uh, company that uh, its expenses are going to be going up. Uh, certainly looks to me like they are pimping the stock uh, and distributing it at the same time. Uh, back up to uh, 427 here, not too recently, uh, and uh, we'll probably be looking at this thing again at 427. CRM, uh, of course, uh, another one you would have loved to see uh, break out with high volume, and it certainly did gap up with one. I would have loved to have seen uh, some decent uh, follow through uh, after the first few days of that. It did go sideways, and finally, uh, did spike up again on 10 million shares on the 18th. So uh, it's starting to get a little bit of its mojo back. Uh, but uh, uh, this is one of the few ones that actually has broken out and actually held its highs out here. Uh, another one at its highs is at CTSH, uh, and that is Cognizant Technology Solutions Corporation. And uh, eh, what can we say about this one? A nice volume. Uh, up here. Uh, most of the volume has been around 3 million shares at previous highs, around the $80 mark. Uh, you had 3.5 million shares on the 18th when this thing broke above and again going sideways. So can't really uh, figure out. You'd like that to pull back on lighter volume and fill the gap. Uh, let's see what else. Duncan uh, Brands, if you want to talk about one that's in a channel uh, moving up and actually up uh, nice today, uh, DNKN. Guess everybody can't get enough of their coffee and their donuts. Uh, probably, uh, eh, probably a good thing. But uh, this one is certainly in a channel. Uh, if you wanted something in the uh, day trading range, uh, buy this on the low and then move back up. Um, this thing, you know, had high volume in the last high. Uh, really has never matched the day that it spiked uh, on 4.8 million shares on January 31st of this year. Uh, but doesn't seem to have stopped. It just continually moved back up uh, and uh, probably make a good case that it at least is going to test the September 17th high at 46.50 out here with 1.8 million shares. Uh, Facebook, uh, this is a hard one to uh, uh, look at. Certainly a huge short interest uh, that is uh, continually being uh, squeezed. Uh, it cracked $50 today. A lot of people are making hay about that, but... Uh, it is tough. A question out here. Uh, who stands to benefit from the death of cable TV? Uh, the answer to that is uh, the uh, people that make the content. Uh, when a handful of people no longer uh, control content delivery, uh, they will be able to keep a lot more of their money. So uh, I don't think that we're going to find Netflix being as uh, big a player as everybody thinks uh, five years from now. I think we're going to have a lot of uh, people uh, pu putting uh, their content on their sites and charging less for it uh, rather than uh, one big conglomerate charging a lot, of, a lot more for a lot of things. Uh, kind of think about uh, uh, Louis C.K., uh, he dropped the cost of his uh, uh, filmed 
stand-up specials uh, from about 25 bucks on DVD to a $5 download, and he's making three times as much. And I think that is the model that is going to be uh, in the near future, and that is the people that control the content are going to get the lion's share of the money, uh, unlike of what uh, the splits have been for a long time, uh, where you had to split it with HBO or you had to split uh, split it with Showtime or Comedy Central, especially these guys uh, that are in comedy uh, can make a, a special for $50,000 and uh, sell it for a quarter of a million to somebody like Comedy Central. Um, but uh, if you can sell it for five bucks and you keep all the money on your own website, uh, like I said, Louis C.K. making three or four times what he would uh, if he made a deal with uh, any of those folks out there. Uh, Fleet Court Technologies, FLT, uh, and, uh, and this one's making a higher high. Uh, volume was close, but not enough. Well, you did have uh, too many chairs, but it closed back below it. Uh, this one looks uh, eh, like a lot of these out here, just uh, look like they're winded somewhat. Uh, Fleet uh, Court Technologies provides fuel cards and workforce payment products uh, and services to business, commercial fleets, oil companies, petroleum markers. Uh, I guess the idea is that uh, uh, if you are charging fuel, uh, they give you a card out here and handle the uh, uh, all the back office stuff. Never really heard of them before. Interesting company. Uh, Fox News Corp. Uh, let's see what else we have out here. FMC Technologies. Um, kind of interesting for all these stocks that uh, they put up here that had to go somewhere. Uh, that it was very interesting to see almost all of these are trapped in some kind of upper trading zone. Uh, FMC uh, Technologies, FTI is the symbol. And, and let's see what we have out here. And boy, if you talk about uh, some of these stuck, uh, stuck stocks uh, with uh, lower volume lows and lower volume highs out here, uh, these certainly are in it. This is one of them. FMC Technologies provides solutions for the energy industry worldwide. Uh, it's another one. Uh, manufactures subsea systems used in the offshore production of crude oil and natural gas. Eh, interesting. Uh, Fortia, another one in a trading zone out here. Google has to go higher, according to these guys. Another one we've talked about this uh, several days here, and that is that uh, Google really looks like it's going to be in this trading zone until it's not. Uh, it makes, uh, again, uh, lighter volume highs and lighter volume lows uh, to a great extent. Uh, we've come back and tested the previous low of June 6th of this year at uh, 847.22, uh, and we tested it uh, with uh, 845, went a couple bucks below it, uh, and the volume shrunk from 2.5 million shares to 1.8 million shares. So lighter volume lows, lighter volume highs. That says trading range all over it. And uh, almost all these stocks that these guys are pushing uh, are looking like that. Uh, chart Industries, GTLS, uh, for people that know about this. Uh, Manufactures and supplies engineered equipment used in the production, storage, and end use of hydrocarbon and industrial gases in the United States and the Czech Republic. We'll be back. We'll look at a few more of these, and I'll try to finish up probably on the show tomorrow. So maybe some of these stocks you haven't looked at lately. We'll be back. Patterns. Profits. Peace of Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. 
Have you subscribed to The Gold Report yet? On Wednesday, August 14th and Thursday, August 15th, Tom O'Brien advised his Gold Report subscribers to close out six of their nine open positions, all winning trades ranging from a 10.69% profit to an incredible 48% profit in just one equity. With the 600th weekly Gold Report issue fast approaching, Tom O'Brien brings an incredible wealth of knowledge and experience to the gold market and the equities within the industry. That's almost 12 years since this powerful newsletter first began. And right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Gold Report by visiting TFNN.com. Make sure you're a subscriber as this volatile gold market makes its way back into positive territory after declining all the way from 1900 dollars to under twelve hundred dollars an ounce in only two years get your 30-day free trial today by visiting tfnn.com david white's newsletter the technology insider is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology if you had invested only ten thousand dollars in microsoft in 1986 you'd have been a millionaire by 2000 disruptive technology like microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits and the tech insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Questions are the answer. You want a better life? Ask a better question. My driving force in life is how can I become the intelligence behind financial freedom? It's why I take massive action. It's why I've invested over 10,000 hours and thousands of dollars to create the answer, the ultimate money machine. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, and on Friday, September 27th, I'll be hosting a one-day online master trader course, The Ultimate Money Machine, where I'll teach you the exact same trading strategies that I use every day when trading the markets and advising my newsletter subscribers. Learn how to precisely identify the market's next move, when to pull the trigger by letting the market commit to you before you commit to it, and how to manage your trade to maximize your results, just as we did in the month of August, when I advised my newsletter subscribers of 11 new trades, resulting in one loss and a combined profit of 129%. Our next move, it's days away. The cost of this course, $595, less than $2.50 per trading session over the next year. If you're looking for the answer, it's the ultimate money machine. All the details on the front page of TFNN.com. Join Andy Hecht as he teaches you how to make money in commodities. The Commodities Hour, next on TFNN. Uh, and we're going to look at a few of these stocks before the end of the day. You still have time to give me a call, 877-927-6648. Of course, we're being stocked by Andy Hecht. Mr. Commodities himself, who will be following the show. Maybe he'll talk a little bit about the cost of actually getting energy uh, to the markets. And uh, I guess the big rumor uh, today is that uh, there's going to be a final approval of the Keystone Pipeline. What that actually means for energy prices, if we could get uh, a good supply out of the uh, Balkan formation out here. And uh, anyway, the uh, discussion or rumor uh, pushing around now is that there's going to be uh, an announcement uh, or a deal made uh, part uh, and maybe in the next Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, anyway, uh, we were looking at uh, chart industries. Uh, and a lot of these just hanging up here at these highs with no volume, uh, which always makes you worried. Um, you need a signal one way or the other. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Michael Kors, we haven't looked at that for a while. Another one uh, that uh, kind of had a surprise that earnings uh, came back down and has done nothing but go back up. Uh, certainly, uh, the question is, how long will this last? Um, it is under the nine-day right now. Um, I would say it's awful close to breaking the up channel uh, in this stock. 
but uh, uh, I would still like to see, you know, it's a decent high, vol uh, decent high up here, uh, $78.62, 4.4 million shares. I'd love to see that tested uh, on lighter volume before I figure this thing is going to come back and fill this gap around 60 what is that, 68 and $69. Uh, it's a nice gap out there, not enough uh, stock uh, traded at those levels. Uh, another one on LinkedIn uh, just has to go up, according uh, to the street out here, no matter what the economy does, which uh, I don't buy. Uh, but uh, LinkedIn is giving us a signal up here, and uh, the question is whether or not this thing uh, has really been battling this uh, 244 area where it had 2.4 million shares, tried to go over it and really never got, you know, they had a 2.8 million day uh, and then closed right back underneath it the next day. So we're getting a lot of these buy signals, uh, with just no real follow through out here. So uh, what I was looking for in this thing is maybe a 2.4 uh, share day and you'll get one. Uh, like to the downside, and then the next couple of days will be uh, not a whole lot. But uh, we're trying on 1.3 million shares. I do suspect that we're probably going to see this market hold up for a few more days, and that's going to be through fund buying if you didn't listen to the beginning of the show. So a lot of these stocks uh, just not really giving any kind of ringing endorsement. Um, Lulu. Yeah, on their list of can't miss stocks, boy, this thing uh, certainly uh, had a huge volume day up and found all kinds of supply, uh, what, about a week ago. Uh, but this thing's going to, uh, trying to get through 75 bucks is going to be a major effort for this thing. And last I looked, they still don't have a CEO. Uh, MasterCard, uh, according to the street, the only way up is, uh, the only way out of this stock is up. And uh, as we uh, look at this, you know, we've got uh, another one that uh, broke through. Uh, uh, this reported crappy EPS, amazing. Yeah. Uh, another one that uh, just went up, uh, MasterCard. We wanted to see 800,000 shares as it broke through uh, five, uh, excuse me, through 656.98. And I uh, had uh, 700,000 shares was close. And then 480,000 shares, 467,000 shares, 500,000 shares, 600,000 shares, 500,000 shares. Uh, certainly yesterday had the volume to the downside. Uh, and we continue to see that stocks break out, just no follow through volume uh, back into the trading range. Watch for this thing below 656.98. We'll see you tomorrow in studio. Same bad channel, same bad time. Are you ready to ride the next bull market wave? Catch the Chapman Wave. Using the Chapman Wave methodology, Basil's very comprehensive daily newsletter, The Opening Call, gives the short, intermediate, and long-term analysis for the key indexes. In his Trader's Corner, he gives a brief market summary and expectation for the day with possible trades, both long and short, which are reviewed daily. A position. Subscribers sold recently for plus 42% on parts and plus 64% on rest. Had Hertz Global as a core position for six months. A current position, entered as a turnaround company, is trading over 100% of its entry point as a portion sold earlier for a plus 21% gain. Subscribers to the opening call see the Chapman Wave techniques demonstrated and explained daily to also educate investors. Now you can get a free two week trial. Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com.